Today's drug is diazepam, brand name Valium, Diastat, and Voltoco. The pharmacologic and therapeutic class is a benzodiazepine and an anticonvulsant. Dosage form and strength. The medication comes as a tablet in a 2mg, 5mg, and 10mg strength. It also comes as a solution in a 10mg per 2ml auto-injector, as well as a 5mg per 5ml oral or injectable solution. There is also a nasal liquid, going by the brand name of Voltoco. It comes in a 5mg per 0.1ml, 7.5mg per 0.1ml, and 10mg per 0.1ml concentration. There is also the rectal gel that comes as the brand name Diastat. The strengths are the 2.5 mg, 10 mg, and 20 mg strength. And finally, there is a concentrated solution that comes in the 5 mg per 1 ml concentration. Indications and dosing for adults. The first indication is for anxiety. The treatment range is between 2 and 10 mg, taken by mouth 2 to 4 times daily. Alternatively, there is the IM or IV route, which is 2 to 10 mg, every 3 to 4 hours as needed. The next indication is for pre-op sedation. The dosing is 10 mg intramuscularly for one dose initiated prior to surgery. The next indication is for sedation in procedures, such as cardioversion. The treatment dose is between 5 and 15 mg IV for one dose initiated 5 to 10 minutes prior to the procedure. The next procedure is for the endoscopy. The treatment dose is up to 20 mg IV for one dose initiated 30 minutes prior to procedure. Alternatively, there is the IM dosing, which is between 5 and 10 mg for one dose. The next indication is for acute alcohol withdrawal. The treatment dose is 5 mg by mouth 3 to 4 times daily as needed. Initiate 10 mg by mouth 3 to 4 times daily for 24 hours. Alternatively, there is the IM or IV dosing, which is 10 mg for one dose with 5 to 10 mg every 3 to 4 hours as needed. The next indication is for muscle spasms. The treatment range is between 2 and 10 mg by mouth 2 to 4 times daily. Alternatively, there is the IM or IV dosing that is between 5 to 10 mg every 3 to 4 hours as needed. The next indication is for adjunct treatment of seizure disorders. The treatment range is between 2 and 10 mg by mouth 2 to 4 times daily. The next indication is for status epilepticus. The treatment range is between 5 and 10 mg IV every 5 to 10 minutes as needed up to a max of 30 mg for the total dose. An off-label indication in adults is for confusional arousals, sleep terrors, and sleepwalking. The treatment dosing range is between 5 to 10 mg taken by mouth at bedtime. Another off-label use is for adjunct treatment of serotonin syndrome. The treatment dosing range is between 5 and 10 mg taken by mouth every 30 to 60 minutes as needed. Alternatively, there is the IM or IV dosing that is dosed between 5 to 10 mg every 10 minutes as needed. Indications and dosing for pediatrics. The first indication is for anxiety. The age range is between 6 months up to 12 years of age. The treatment range is between 0.12 and 0.8 mg per kilogram per day, taken by mouth and divided every 6 to 8 hours. Alternatively, there is the IMIV dosing, where the treatment range is between 0.04 to 0.2 mg per kilogram per dose, every 2 to 4 hours, up to a max of 0.6 mg per kilogram every 8 hours. The next age range for anxiety is in ages 13 years of age and up. The treatment range is between 2 and 10 mg taken by mouth 2 to 4 times daily. Alternatively, there is the IM and IV dosing that is between 2 to 10 mg every 3 to 4 hours as needed. The next indication is for muscle spasms, which have the same age ranges and dosing as seen in anxiety. 
the next indication in pediatrics is for adjunct treatment of tetanus. The first age range is between one month up to four years of age. The treatment dose is between one to two milligrams IM or IV every three to four hours as needed. The next age range is for five years and up. The treatment dose is between 5 and 10 milligrams IM or IV every 3 to 4 hours as needed. The last indication for pediatrics is in status epilepticus. The age range between 1 month up to 12 years of age. The treatment dosing range is between 0.1 and 0.3 milligrams per kilogram per dose IV every 5 to 10 minutes as needed. The max total dose for the age range between 1 month and 4 years of age is 5 milligrams. The max total dose for 5 years of age up to 12 years of age is 10 milligrams. The next treatment range is for 13 years of age and up. The treatment dosing range is between 5 and 10 milligrams IV every 10 to 15 minutes as needed with a max total dose of 30 milligrams. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology The mechanism of action of diazepam is through the enhancement of GABA's inhibitory effect on neuronal excitability through stereospecific binding to neuronal GABA sites within the CNS, including the limbic system. Diazepam increases chloride ion permeability by binding to benzodiazepine receptors located on postsynaptic GABA neurons, which leads to a less excitable state of hyperpolarization and stabilization. The effect appears to be linked to GABA-A and not GABA-B receptors. Diazepam is well absorbed at around 90%. It is hepatically metabolized via the CYP3A4 and CYP2C19 pathways. The medication is excreted through the urine. The onset of action in pediatrics when delivered IV is between 4 and 5 minutes. The time to peak when taken orally is between 1.5 and 2.5 hours. Food lengthens the time for the peak effect when taken orally. The time to peak for IV is around 1.5 hours, and intramuscularly it is around 1 hour, and rectally it is around 1.5 hours. The duration of action in pediatrics is between 60 and 120 minutes. The half-life elimination is highly variable based on the route of administration, and the half-life is elongated when multiple doses are given. In infants and children, it is between 18 and 30 hours. In adults, it is between 33 and 72 hours, with the lower range being for IV doses and the longer range for oral doses. 84 to 98% of the medication is protein-bound. Special Populations and Considerations In the hepatically impaired, there is a 2 to 5-fold increase in half-life, there is increased volume of distribution, as well as a decrease in clearance. Regarding the elderly, and assuming that starting at a half-life of 20 hours at 20 years of age, the half-life increases by one hour for each year. The volume of distribution also increases, as well as the clearance decreases. Contraindications and cautions in patients with severe hepatic impairment. Patients should avoid abrupt withdrawal if high doses or if prolonged usage. Caution should be exercised in mild to moderate hepatic impairment, renal impairment, pulmonary impairment, if alcohol use, a history of seizures, in elderly, and in depression. Regarding pregnancy, teratogenic effects have been observed with diazepam, such as an increase in premature births and low birth weights. Withdrawal symptoms may also occur within days to weeks after birth. Diazepam is not recommended in pregnancy. Side effects. Some common side effects are drowsiness, ataxia, confusion, depression, rash, irritability, tremor, libido changes, and others. Some serious side effects are suicidality, bradycardia, syncope, seizures, dependency, respiratory depression, as well as others. Diazepam has several black box warnings. The first is for opioid use. 
Benzodiazepines used with opioids may lead to profound sedation, coma, respiratory depression, and death. The next black box warning is for abuse, misuse, and addiction. And the last is for dependence and withdrawal reactions. Drug interactions. Some considerations for drug interactions is diazepam is a CYP2C19 and CYP3A4 substrate. It is also an anti-epileptic agent. There should be caution with other meds that can cause CNS depression or hypotensive effects. Some contraindicated drugs and drugs of note. Do not use with bupropion and metoclopramide. Avoid use with alprazolam and other benzodiazepines, as well as gabapentin, grapefruit, hydrocodone, fentanyl, paliperidone, as well as others. Monitor usage with 5-HTP, armodafinil, baclofen, butalbital, clonidine, clopidogrel, phenytoin, zonisamide, as well as others. Monitoring parameters. Liver function tests if prolonged usage. Monitor heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, mental status, creatinine, BUN, and the osmol gap. Also monitor for abuse, misuse, and addiction. Patient counseling information. Diazepam is commonly used to treat anxiety, seizures, alcohol withdrawal, and muscle spasms. It can be taken with or without food. It can cause addiction and dependency, and patients should be monitored for signs and symptoms of abuse, misuse, and addiction. The use of grapefruit or grapefruit juice may increase the chances of experiencing side effects with diazepam.